What is up everybody and welcome to FLW videos. In today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the top Pokemon for the Premier Cup which is being featured in Pokemon Go in less than 24 hours of making of this video. So if you haven't heard about this this time around when we head over to the Master League there's actually going to be two different things that you can do. Number one, the Open Master League just like what we have seen in the past but then number two is going to be the Premier Cup which means all legendary Pokemon are excluded from this cup so if you don't have legendary fully powered up, this could end up being the cup for you. But because it is new, a lot of people are asking the questions, what are going to be some of the best Pokemon? What are going to be some of the best team compositions? And then of course, maybe a question like, what am I running? So I'm very excited to go ahead and get into it in today's episode. If you do enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So let's go ahead and jump into this. When we take a look at the top Pokemon for the Premier Picks, I think there's quite a few on here that are gonna be fairly familiar to people. So some of these found themselves being viable just in the regular Master League, just fully open, such as Metagross, such as Togekiss, we've got Dragonite. I mean, I feel like Garchomp was kind of a spicy pick, but definitely these main five, I think got some type of use, especially a Pokemon like Metagross. Come on, I mean, a lot of teams kind of built around that Pokemon. So some of these are familiar and as far as some of the new ones kind of getting put in just because of those legendaries being taken out i honestly think that swampert received one of the biggest upgrades to be included on this list as well as a pokemon like conkeldor slash machamp and then finally the pokemon magnezone so magnezone technically was always pretty good but now that we've got the legendaries taken out it's definitely rising to the top as far as the premier picks are concerned so of interest to me some of the Pokemon right off the bat that I think are going to be a core component to your team when you consider adding in a Pokemon, I think the one that's going to really make or break your team is Dragonite. So I personally have been using Dragonite in the Master League when it was just the Open Master League, and it is amazing. It's kind of like a pseudo Dialga in this Premier Pick Cup. And when you take a look at this, the reason why I think that happens is because of the counter. So this is what the Pokemon ends up losing to. It's the only Pokemon on this graphic that consistently loses to only two Pokemon on this list, while many of these other Pokemon fill it out at three key losses. Dragonite only picks up two. And here's kind of the cool thing about this. If you've ever used Dragonite, maybe you ended up unlocking a secondary charge move with the move Hurricane. That's what I was rocking. And I can't tell you how many times I went up against a Togekiss and hit it with a hurricane instead and they did not shield it for whatever reason when users come out with togekiss they just tend to not shield going up against dragonite because they assume they're going to be rocking draco meteor outrage dragon claw like those dragon type moves but if you can hit it with a hurricane you can take out 75 percent of the damage so to some extent i found myself being able to handle togekisses very easily with dragonite so you're really just going to have to worry about Metagross, and Metagross is going to be covered by many Pokemon that we cover. So I'm glad I wanted to go ahead and mention that. I'm giving away a little bit of a secret. We may end up seeing a little bit of an adjustment. Maybe people using Togekiss will finally realize, oh, wait a minute, Hurricane can actually hurt me, so I'm going to have to worry about those shields. If we go ahead and scroll down to the counter picks, I do think this is an interesting section because we end up seeing Rhyperior as one of the top non-legendary Pokemon being used in the open master league because of that move mud slap just absolutely crushing it i was using mud slap using rock record and then i opted to use superpower in this particular case pv poke is offering to use surf but i don't see why you couldn't use superpower and then go up against some a little bit different pokemon but that's of course going to be down to preference but the reason why we're talking about these pokemon is because they could kind of be the spicy pick pokemon especially a pokemon like gengar now at first you're not going to see as many gengar because of the moveset that it has available but then once the community day happens a week into this premier cup you're going to see that people are going to start using shadow punch for example and once they end up starting doing that on july 19th that's going to end up being the time where you end up seeing gengar come in a little bit more frequently so at first not going to be as common of a pokemon and then when we move over to the final two very interesting to see these pokemon showing up because we of course know that they did a great job in the ultra league but in the master league Using a Charizard, using a Typhlosion, that's something that really didn't cross my mind personally. But when we take a look at it, I honestly think that Typhlosion is going to end up being the better pick out of this. Of course, we're going to see that it is going to pick up three Pokemon on the key wins. 
uh, but unfortunately for Charizard, it just doesn't pick it up. So Mamoswine, for example, is that Pokemon. Just because of Charizard being a part flying type, it actually ends up negatively affecting it in this particular case when you're talking about the top wins that these Pokemon end up receiving. So anyways, if we go ahead and scroll down to the example teams, you're going to see that the most common Pokemon being recommended is that Metagross. So Metagross gets recommended in five out of six teams, only one of them not being showcased, which is this team, which honestly would be a super crazy team to end up using. Magnezone gets its premiere in the Premier Cup. We don't see it really in the Open Master League. Machamp is a solid option. I'm, I'm excited about that. And then finally, Togekiss could be a good one. This could end up being an interesting team if you're trying to get away from Metagross. But just generally speaking, Metagross is going to be one of those top options. And honestly, when I was saying earlier, I think the Dragonite is going to be the secret pick that ends up acting the most like Dialga does in the Master League. So as far as the teams that I'm personally looking at the most, it's going to end up consisting of that team composition of Metagross and Dragonite, which is these three on the right. And then technically we have one here, but I don't have a Milo tick ready to go. So that's going to be a no for me. But anyways, if we take a look at these Pokemon on this right side, I've got all of those ready to go. And then finally, I've got a 100% IV Rhyperior ready to go. And I think that's going to be a spicy one because once again, it's going to be able to handle those Metagrosses as long as I can get the lineups mixed up. So, or as long as I can get the lineup set up correctly. So if I were to pick out a team for me to start with, I'm thinking that this team in the bottom right corner is going to absolutely be my starting team. But I, of course, would love to know what you're planning on running in the comment section below. We've got this cup coming out. I'm sure that the meta is going to end up shifting. And if it ends up shifting drastically from this starting point, I would love to end up covering it again. But I want to know what team you plan to use in the comment section below. Are you going to run the Premier Cup or are you going to run the Open Master League? Anything and everything, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. Huge shout out to the supporters over at Patreon. If you would like to get exclusive perks, make sure to check out that link in the description and I will see you next time.